find that uh, I have the opportunity to speak to you to this uh, uh, great title, uh, as you say, Communication and Media Development uh, in Times of Disinformation and Global Change. I thought I should uh, challenge us uh, by a theoretical thinking, what are we uh, talking about when we talk about uh, 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 crisis. Uh, what means really knowledge of crisis uh, and what has this to do with uh, communication and uh, media. Maybe I'm challenging very much the young students, but it's good. Uh, maybe I'm uh, debating with uh, colleagues of uh, the theoretical frames of uh, uh, communication, society and uh, uh, culture in relation to the meaning of, of uh, a crisis. I want uh, with this presentation to stress uh, a little bit the uh, epistemological argumentation uh, to value the power of observation because we are always talking when we talk about communication we think it's an action I'm acting and maybe you are reacting. It's a model it's not communication itself it's a model to understand what we mean by communication. But maybe there are other models. There's a model of observation. We communicate to each other as I'm observing you and I know you are observing me and you know I am observing you as you know I am observing you. So this is also communication. Maybe it's more than uh, just a, uh, it's more communication in the sense of what we think communication should be than it is by action and reaction because action and reaction uh, uh, as we know, they are, are depending or are they, are, they are creating as well communication, but of course a lot of uh, mistakes in communication and disinformation and uh, miscommunication uh, as well. So this is one point. The other point is that uh, the paradigm of uh, observation... Oh yeah, thank you. I'm not yet too far. <laughs> the, the, the paradigm of uh, observation I think it's a very strong paradigm because, uh, as I want uh, to show, uh, uh, when we observe ourselves or the environment we are living with, so the observation is as we realize. That means uh, real is what we observe. It's a constructivist uh, uh, approach, of course, but it says the world is as we, uh, as we see, the world is as we think it, the world is as we communicate it. So that means then, uh, if, if we see uh, that way, so then we, we see how important observation is and uh, how important uh, uh, it is also on a, on a logical level to see what we, what we theoretically mean by, uh, by observation. This is what I want uh, 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 to try to, uh, to, to think about and uh, to challenge you also to think it uh, with me. Post-crisis concept of sociability. I'm not talking about this, this society, I'm talking about sociability. It's the, the way as we socialize, it's the, uh, the confidence, it's the power, it's the desire of being together and uh, being related to each other. We are talking about a crisis, and we know we have a lot of crises now. We have this uh, uh, climate crisis, uh, energy crisis, uh, democracy crisis, uh, uh, the, the uh, pandemic, of course, and uh, as well the war. All those crises have their, have their own uh, speciality, their, their, their own character. But as you see, as I try to, to uh, say it here, uh, they are connected to each other because of crisis. So it means maybe those things do not have to do with each other, with uh, another, but as we, uh, as we observe them as a crisis, they are connected to each other by our observation. They are connected to each other by the observation. So we know that uh, the, the global society maybe is reacting with deglobalization now, is reacting with fragmentation, is reacting with mistrust, is re reacting with communication blocks, all those uh, things, uh, uh, because we think it did, uh, 
did not work uh, well enough, maybe, uh, uh, or is not working well enough. So we uh, we see the uh, understanding a crisis uh, always has also to do with uh, uh, the sociability or the communication in the way as we understand it in the way the way as we share it. Uh, so as uh, I try to say here, uh, uh, the the. Global surveillance, if you observe, uh, it, it could be also the other way around. It's, it's not that uh, the crisis uh, uh, affects uh, the society. Maybe the society affects uh, those, those uh, uh, spheres like uh, communication, nation, politics, economy and culture. Uh, because of the misuse of the resources, the misuse of the resources of nature, the misuse of the communication resources. Of, of, uh, uh, of political resources and as well of cultural resources. This misuse makes maybe the uh, being becoming those uh, those uh, uh, spheres becoming a crisis. So if we see that and you see the all those uh, those uh, uh, constructs uh, uh, belong to each other. We cannot talk about communication not talking in the same time of society, culture, or organization. We cannot talk about uh, uh, society not talking at the same time of, about communication, culture, and organization. So you see, they, the, 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 those uh, terms just might be somehow metaphors of description of how we observe. I say that again, metaphors of description, how we observe uh, the environment, the natural environment, the social environment, the cultural environment and the symbolic environment. Because we only can state ourselves and observe ourselves always in relation to the environment, to the natural, social, cultural, uh, and symbolic environment. So that means uh, the possibility to know about myself is always uh, done by uh, getting related or, or taking relation uh, to the social or cultural, uh, natural or uh, symbolic environment. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to say much more. Because uh, uh, those uh, uh, the, the not only communication or the society or politics or culture are in crisis, uh, also the relation to each other, the relation of uh, communication and culture, the relation of communication uh, and society, the relation of politics and communication uh, and, uh, 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 and society, they are in crisis. And what I want to, 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 to make you to know or to see is that crisis is not something uh, that is caused by uh, misuse of uh, it's also, it, and, and it's not only uh, 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 something that is uh, uh, following uh, the, the misuse of, uh, of communication or of culture or nature uh, or politics. Maybe we understand if you observe it in another way. Uh, uh, it's it's the model of change, and it's the model of emancipation getting out uh, of the routines of thinking in order to find new and other ways of thinking. Why? Because the world is not just uh, 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 a, a, a block for itself, for a statement for itself. The world is as we see it. So if we change uh, the way to observe it and to see it, so we change the world, we change the communication, we change it, uh, politics, uh, and we change the relation of those uh, uh, constructs uh, to each other. When we observe things, we do not just observe uh, 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 in the way that uh, uh, it comes to us and we, we get surprised. Observing is an active, uh, is an active way uh, to look and to see. And when we observe, uh, we observe at least in, in, in four interests. In a normative interest, we want to see communication as we think it should be. Uh, we observe in empirical, we, we, we get an idea, we really experience. Uh, we observe in a, uh, with the interest of pragmatic, 
what to do in order to come to communication or to come to politics or to come to culture uh, and uh, to society. And of course we observe as well, in a critical way, we try to differentiate what we see to maybe two other experiences we already have. So, uh, uh, observation is a very uh, complex thing and it's uh, the power of humanity uh, uh, to, to get uh, connected to the world uh, uh, as uh, we see it. So, there's maybe a, 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 a way to go to understand that the observation and the power of observation. I try to, uh, to, to, uh, to find out how it could be. When we observe, uh, we observe given connectivities uh, uh, as a subject uh, using uh, the, a metaphor of description. When we say communication, it's not the communication. We, many, uh, many things happening, uh, taking together, we call this communication uh, on, on, on an on a, on a, on a intuitive, theoretical level. But when we try to find out the, what is the knowledge of, uh, of, of communication, what is the science of communication, then we need a logical, a next logical uh, level uh, in order not to say this is communication, but to, to ask why do we call what we experience communication and not with any other word? Because we observe it that, uh, uh, in a normative interest, in an empirical interest, in a pragmatic interest, and in a critical interest. And uh, 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 so we uh, take together what we experience uh, as, a, as a term like communication or uh, like culture or like religion or family. All those things, they are not happening by themselves. They are happening as we observe them. And this is important because then it makes sense to say communication is the construction of reality. Uh, that means that uh, a reality which has relevance and real for us is what is relevant. And relevant uh, things get relevant by our observation, not by themselves. They get, uh, uh, they get the uh, power and meaning by our observation. And we observe by cultural programs, by, uh, uh, by models of knowledge, of communication, of religion, of family. And that makes sense uh, to change them uh, or to accept the change that they are happening because we could not say when, uh, coming, uh, when the reality is uh, uh, what we, how we construct it by, by communication, then we could not say there is only one reality. It would be the most totalitarian uh, situation to live with one culture, with one religion, with one language, with one family model, and so on. So thanks God we have many, uh, 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 many models of family, of society, of uh, politics, of communication, of religion, because the world cannot be done by as we want to determine it. But the way is as we do it. Maybe this is the problem of our communication because we always want to come to an end. We want to make it perfect, done, forever. And maybe this idea of perfection is a pragmatic idea, but it's not a normative one, not a critical one, and not an empirical one, because normal, the norms are various, the empirical, uh, 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 the, the empirical uh, events uh, are uh, uh, various, and so on. So the way, uh, as we find out what is the truth, uh, or what is our knowledge, uh, Maybe this all is a construction by our observation, and if it is, then it helps us to understand uh, the, uh, also to find the logical model of observation. I try with, uh, usually with a, a very simple uh, uh, example. When I have a mirror and, a sh uh, and I ask you, what are you seeing in the mirror? You would say, yeah, it's me. I would say, no, it's not you. It's you as you observe yourself. So that means the observation of communication is how we observe communication. And this is social science. Uh, when we do social sciences, 
we, we do not uh, describe things as they are by themselves. We describe as we, we describe, as we observe, as we see them, as we think them. So uh, this is uh, the challenge of doing social sciences in communication and whatever uh, uh, to uh, to to cr uh, critical to to to, uh, to think critically what we are thinking on communication. And when we saw, see communication, for example, saying communication is uh, if we come together so far that there's no not anymore any place for a sheet of paper in between us because we are the same thinking the same, doing the same, under, and we call this understanding. So then maybe uh, this could be the problem, for example, we have with, let's say, migration or, uh, or, or ethical uh, differences, because we always want to, uh, to come to one. This is philosophical thinking. Maybe we would have to change that, uh, coming from one to variety, to, to, to diversity. Uh, to see that the world can be uh, otherwise as we see it. Because the complexity of whatever, the complexity of society, the complexity of crisis, the complexity of politics, the complexity of, 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 of science, is not the complexity by those things themselves. It's as we see them. And if the complexity is something as we observe things, then we could on the next level say, okay, let's try a complexity, and that exactly is what uh, science has to do. It has to go to the edge of the complexity. It has to find out the complexity. It has not to reduce the complexity, but to produce the complexity in order, uh, in order as well to be prepared for the changes they are coming and not coming by themselves. They are they they are happening by the way as we observe. And uh, as we know, as we think, observe, it's never enough to meet the things uh, 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 what we are observing. So that's why we are changing our observation. Uh, and we do this in relation to communication, because we need communication for observation. We do this in relation to its organization in society. And we do it uh, uh, also in the way, uh, in the relation uh, uh, to culture. So that's why culture and society and communication uh, and uh, organization always uh, are related to each other and always are also intervening uh, uh, each other. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I tried to, to find out what could be the way uh, uh, of observation as, as the, a, a, a core uh, activity uh, of communication. Uh, we, consider the, uh, we, uh, we, we consider things uh, as we are getting aware of what we experience. We have, to, we have to get aware of what we experience. Then we try to differentiate. We, we frame our observation uh, by cultural <laughs> models we already have. Uh, we find a transrelation uh, to other uh, uh, spheres of living. For example, when we when we observe, let's say, a religious uh, liturgy, we try uh, to relate it to family, to our identity, to the society, to the faith, to whatever. We, we always observe in a uh, uh, trans uh, relation because we know, we understand what we observe only if we relate it to what is important for us, to what we think uh, we should uh, uh, know as well. So then we come uh, somehow to a meaning, that means uh, we value the, the impacts and the consequences, and then we find the relevance of uh, defining the field uh, of a cultural program. It's defining, but we are going uh, far, fur further and want, we want to have the truth. We want to have the knowledge saying it's true because it's knowledge, it's knowledge because it's truth. Maybe we have to discuss that, but let's, uh, let's be here. Determining, determining the relevance by facts or by, inter, by interpretation. And we have communicational uh, uh, spheres uh, like information, bringing observation in form, information. Uh, argumentation, defining the interpretation or persuasion, just to, to, to mention some 
uh, thing, uh, pragmatic cell and uh, uh, causality. And we have mediation as, a, as another level of communication, and we find new ways of communication, narration, dramatization, mutualization, insinuation, simulation, and so on. And you see, when we observe then the, what we experience, for example, crisis, we do not uh, exp uh, experience the crisis, we experience, as you say, what crisis is, what they say crisis is, media say what crisis is. So this is our reality, and this is the relevance, and this is what, uh, what we are related to, and to what we are reacting. So then science uh, has the, uh, the, the challenge to find the way back, and I think uh, thinking about observation could help us to find the way back to what is really crisis or politics or communication or religion uh, or family and so on. So, uh, what I'm trying now is that, uh, is I'm, oh my god, uh, uh, I'm not coming to an end, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 observation, rhetorical uh, orchestration, medialization by media and communication, uh, all those fields are working together, are related to each other, uh, and uh, uh, are giving are shaping our uh, are shaping out our observation and when we are uh, I'm not coming to an end here now I'm sorry but when we are talking about a, a, a crisis I think we should understand that we have the chance uh, to emancipate by crisis through dry crisis and this might be then a uh, crisis is not something we have uh, to react morally uh, let's react to the crisis as a, as a paradigm of living. Thank you very much. <laughs>